Alright boys and girls, so this is the car reader John's going to be using for his new Maximum Turbo Stopper project. Um, it's a Holly Progressive, um, non-simultaneous two barrel, which means one car, one butterfly will move and then the other one will hit. So, the one modification that we can see that needs to be done is it needs to have a boost reference power valve in it. The power valve is here in the bottom of the float bowl. It's a little different than like what comes on a V8. Um, when you push on this little center button there, that goes down and lets fuel go into the chambers and into the main jack stack and enriches the mixture. So what, how this one works is this long rod and spring on the bottom in between the float there, when vacuum is applied to it, lifts this up. And when this is lifted up, the needle is spring closed. This has a spring in it. When the engine is at full throttle and the vacuum is low and the atmospheric pressure is higher, it releases the pressure on the vacuum on that spring and lets that rod come down with that little valve there, which touches the little needle in the center here, pushing it down, letting fuel in. So, what, we need, what we've done is we chased where the vacuum reference is for the power valve. And it goes from there to this port here, right by my finger. I just drop the bolt. And that port is over here. It comes over to this channel, moves along. And what we've done is we drilled a hole and we've cut a nice little piece of brass pipe here. Copper, actually. And we're going to put it in said hole, but not put it so far in that it's sticking in, blocking the passage. Alright. And then on the bottom here, where this goes out underneath the throttle blades, we're going to plug it off so it doesn't pull any more vacuum from the engine. So with that blocked off, the only signal it's going to receive will be coming from this tube, which will go to the bottom of the intake manifold. Probably right here. So when this thing senses boost, it'll start pushing pressure up through the tube, into here, from here, into the spring pushing that assembly down, which will in turn push on the power valve, which will let fuel flow into the main jet stack and enrich it. So that's basically what the idea is. That's the only modifications we can find that this needs to be done. So we're going to mix up some JB Weld here, we're going to plug this off, and we'll show you the results next. All right, there we go. We got some JB Weld on there. Got our plug in there, some JB Weld on that. And now we're just gonna let it all dry up nice and good. I made this crazy long just cause you never know how long you're gonna really need that to bend around something like that. Um, and I was lazy. So after it all dries up, we'll put it together and we'll figure out how it works. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll show more content. I'm going to put all this on a playlist for the Maximum Turbo Stopper. John doesn't want to go to 25, but I say we got to, you know. But we're going to get this going here in a little bit. Um, stay tuned for uh, updates. Check out John's channel, Vintage Speed VW. I'll put a link in the description for that. And you can see his progress as he goes on building this and as I help him. So, see you guys later. Get out there and get your cars going.